Hardy, Wright, and AJ. I mean, they since season, I think they took two weeks off. So you could tell they're ahead of the curve, even though they had it. Hardy's on a whole nother level. Mm -hmm. uh, Silva, we brought in. I wanted Silva on the summer league, so we brought him in for a couple weeks to be able to do pickup and know our type of offense. But Miles is going to be a good player for us. Um, you could just tell, like, the confidence after you do your first year. And so for them, it's just uh, getting, getting down our defense. We're going to be doing 80% of our, our stuff that we do for the Mavs and then 20% of the stuff that uh, I want to tinker with and, you know, give kid different – you know, a couple of different options. What specifically did you see out of Miles today? <clears throat> uh, Miles, uh, just his aggressiveness, I, I say offensively. Um, and then, I'll, you know, every kid in Summer League goes 100 miles an hour. Once you tell him to calm down, run the, run the show, be at the nail defensively because we want to be able to contain our guys, uh, he, he picked it up right away. Sometimes it takes guys a couple more so you could tell his IQ. He's been playing college a little bit you know, longer than most of these other guys. And so for Miles, uh, he's going to be a good offensive talent, especially for Summer League. Yeah. Yeah. So the first month with Jaden was just working on his overall game. You don't want to, someone who's so young uh, hold him back. His potential so high. So every move in the book, every arsenal, and then the last month I took over getting him ready for summer league where he could see traps. He could see a uh, low man over there um, making the right pass. And so I just tell Hardy, Hardy's going to get his 18 to 20 shots. 15 and 16 have to be good looks. Everyone knows he's going to be the number one, uh, number one player in our offense. Uh, but you got to be able to make the short roll past the sh to the big. You got to make the skip pass to AJ in the corner. And, and for him, it's it's he can get by the first guy. It's seeing that low man, the guy in the corner, and reading that. And that's something that his development, but um, his confidence, his uh, array of shot making ability is elite. That's why you see the potential. That's why fans love him and, and see what he could potentially be. What is some Sorry, the, the two first rounds, Kizo, Max, and Derek. I know they can't do much right. until the trade conveys. Are they able to do anything? One on oh. Yo, they're, they're, I, I, we've been here since what? 7 30, getting them ready. Uh, one on oh workouts, getting them cardio. So they won't be able to get to practice till they'll have one practice in, um, in Vegas on that, on that Friday, and then they'll play. So they get thrown to the fire fast. But listen, summer league is what you want. And then um, I'll take, you know, probably, if not both of them, at least one of them lively. I'll watch film with him. I'll have him just getting him ready because overall, like, you could just see his learning ability. He's an extreme elite athlete. Um, and then the best thing for him is defensively be able to protect that paint, be able to switch, be able to that. So uh, there'll be more mental days for them than physical, and then they'll have their five games. What are some tangible things you're looking <clears throat> for Hardy and some of the two-way guys to translate to that? Well, Hardy has to get, I mean, the question, Hardy's going to play, I mean, I'm not a head coach, but he averaged, what, 15 minutes? For him to get to 25, 27 minutes, his defense has to, his awareness off the ball, uh, being low man, uh, pin downs, um, and it takes, it took me when I played two, three years of that, and I went to BC for four years, so I asked the guy in the fire, and he's having to guard the likes of Kyrie and Luka with these guys are elite, so for him, it's a, a off-ball awareness, and then offensively, he's, he, I mean, I think he shot 40% on step back threes. So it shows you his his capability, but can he make the reads? Can he make the lob pass to the low man? Can he make the corner pass? Um, we let the game come to him. If he's one for six, is he gonna shoot two more bad shots? And, and, and that's why I try to try to ease him. Hey, you're getting 20 shots. All my plays are for Hardy. It doesn't even matter. Listen, we, we know that he has it, and so uh, it's, it's geared for him, but at the same time, like you have a lot of responsibility. It's not because you get a green light to shoot every time. It's very similar to Luca. What have you seen in the development of AJ Lawson since the season was ended? It's, it's crazy because me and AJ talk about this. AJ actually looks better and five on five and he does on a one row workout or a three on three workout. So you can't really you know, tell his value until you see him cutting offensive or rebounding. Uh, for him, it's, uh, I told him we, we've had, we've, they've been having some pickup games and he never fouled. And I don't know if he's, cause he's from Canada or uh, the style it may be is, he has to get physical, he has to get two fouls. And you look at guys like Dylan Brooks, you can make fun of him all you want, 80 million, it's for a reason. Cause offensively, he's not super talented when he comes at a high level. He plays hard as hell, he's a, you know, a nuance on defense. And you don't gotta be Dylan Brooks, but you gotta have a lot of nasty in you if you're a role player. 
I didn't play 14 years because I was a nice guy on the defense court. And so that's for him is, can I get that out of him? Can I get him to run through a screen? Check it out. You get 10 fouls in summer league. So you, you can foul outside the three. Once you're in the paint, I don't want any fouls. I want good, solid defense. So for him, I've seen that. And then, I mean, his athletic ability. He, he's an he's a NBA player athletically, but can he do it mentally and physically? What are your initial impressions of Miles Burns? Miles Burns, um, he struggled on the um, – on gambling, mm -hmm. after he after we called him out on that, it, it was uh, he took it on the chin. Some players, you look at it in, in this, you know what, millennial age of of calling people out. Some people don't like it. Summer league, these guys don't have jobs, so he responded it, diving on the floor, uh, asking questions. A lot of these kids don't ask questions. They're ready to get on the iPhone when practice is over. And a lot of times with him, he was asked a lot of questions. So to me, it's his desire to want to learn, and 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 that's huge in this league because you know a lot of kids think they know it all so fast. Pretty sure they're in Gen Z. Huh? Pretty sure they're in Gen Z. Gen Z? Yeah, they're the one on your back. Is that? <laughs> uh, you look pretty comfortable as a coach out there. What are you looking for yourself to get out of this experience? Man, I mean, for one, I'm, I'm just humbled and honored to be able to have the opportunity. It's my second year. I got to coach a game, or two games last year. Uh, didn't get any wins, so the, the big thing here is winning. Um, <laughs> that's for one. And then for two, it's reps. I mean, I, I was a assistant to defensive coordinator behind Sweeney. Uh, when Sweeney's mom passed, I got time to be able to be able to, uh, you know, obviously it's unfortunate to be able to, you know, Jay Kitts the next man up. So I got some reps of that. Then I'm a, for me, it's it's when you're a role player and you've you've come from the bottom, had to work your way up. Same thing in coaching. So for me, is you're trying to be a sponge. So Sweeney, who's done, the, I think he's the most. I think he's coached more summer leagues than any assistant coach ever. I mean, he's had that. So for me, I'm in his office all the time. Talk to Jay Kidd when St. Jean was here. I talked to him. I talked to T. Lou. There's different coaches I talk around the league of wanting to learn because for one, it's playing and coaching is different. It's it's, it's the same rhythm, but overall, if how you communicate to an athlete is way different. How I communicate to a teammate is different than how I communicate to a, a player of mine. So for me, it's uh, in-game adjustments. I pride myself on not waiting to halftime. If a player's killing, what should I be able to have? to stop them. I'm also a coach where if I see a mismatch, I'll, uh, I would say a la Dan Tony, stay with it until it happens. So you can see Hardy hopefully having a couple big games if I if, if they don't if they don't adjust. And then to me was uh, on the board. You get to work on your X's and O's and ATOs and this is where it's fun, right? This is where the closest thing you can get back to playing, right? This is where I watch him film. You're seeing all these different coaches, how they do their ATOs end of games. And we'll have a segment here in practice where we're working on that. And, and so for me, it's just, it's an honor. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad Jay Kidd to be able to let me get the opportunity. And so for me, it's just, it's just the beginning of my hopefully long coaching career. We saw a short state of practice and it looks like Mike, Mike Miles can score. Yes. Is there, is there other things that he needs to, what in your mind is he, else does he need to do? Well, yeah, I tell these players, the big thing I told them, if, if you want to make it in this league, your defense has to pick up from Hardy to whatever. So we know he can score, Walker can score, uh, you know, Hardy can score, but can you guard? And we're gonna find out when we play first game is OKC, they're gonna have seven, eight guys that are gonna be playing major minutes from the man, Williams, the rookie who just came on. You're gonna have the other Williams, Robinson Earl. There's just so many different, Chet is gonna be a guy. And so they're gonna find out if you wanna get jobs and you wanna be able to play in this league, can you guard? Can you listen to the can you listen to the game plan? Can you execute it? Can you trust it? And if it's not working, hopefully I'm a good enough coach to be able to adjust on that. And for them, it's, it's defensively picking up, guarding one on one. And we're shoot with our with our mid level. You heard the reports. We're looking for guys that can guard. You're always looking when Doe was here. You're looking for guys that can be able to guard your yard because you're always going to have two or three guys on your on your team that can score enough points. Burns can guard, can he? Huh? Burns, he can, Burns guard. can guard. I think Moore can guard. Um, and uh, Silva, uh, and, and and obviously our two rookies. One of the best things about them is their athleticism and guard. But I mean, can you guard without fouling? When you're tired, can you make the adjustments? Can you, you know, when you, when you know what to go, but you're a step slow. And the difference between college and the NBA, when you're a step slow, that, that's, that's the difference between a made and missed shot. Right. Thank you, Appreciate you guys. Thanks,